Kevin, a very good 2-1 win in the FA Cup against a good Braintree Town side. You must be delighted. I am delighted, yeah. Obviously, it's obviously been a while coming and it's the FA Cup, not the league. But I just said to the lads, I'm proud of every single one of them. You know, throwing their bodies on the line at the end, defending, you know, the, the long ball and the throw-ons and from everywhere and just crosses into your box. I just, I thought it was an outstanding team performance. Um, and I think George Wind capped what was a man and a match display, in my opinion, with a, with a goal. Um, I don't think anyone here today would have denied that we would have, you know, we were well worthy of our of our win. Um, like I say, it's been a while coming. We've been getting progressively better, I think, um, without getting the results. But now we move on and uh, we move on to what's an extremely important league game next week. After going one 0 down, the team showed some great attacking football to draw the game level and then go on to uh, win it late on. How do you feel about that? It's as it's as good as we've played. Um, it's as good as we've played. But it stems from how we trained Tuesday, Thursday. There was a there was an incredible intensity to what we did, and I think you could see today how quick we looked, how sharp we were. The decision making was good, um, and overall, it's just a it's just a great performance. The, our first goal was a, a really well worked goal. Um, we had shots. Joe Felix could have had a hatful for himself. Um, but I'm just pleased for the lads because they're working hard, we're working hard, everyone's working hard. The fans, I'm pleased for them as well. It's obviously been a sticky start, but you know, I said to said to our players, and I always do, you know, fans are not silly and they clap you off and cheer you off. Even like the home game against Braintree, um, you're doing something right. And today they deserved absolutely everything they got. Um, late winner, yes. I would have the way we played today, if we'd have walked off with only a draw, I would have been disappointed. Uh, what improvements did you see from the team today after previous games? Um, I tinkered with the formation a little bit. Um, Daz Foxley coming back in and being up to speed makes a huge difference to us. Um, I went back to something towards what I like in terms of formation. I thought the back three were excellent. Um, Marvin Chambo, I don't think they lost a header all afternoon. We were combative in the, in the middle of the pitch. Uh, Frankie and Kurt sitting in front. And then you had uh, Pince and Joe, you know, just playing in and around Wabs, uh, which allowed our wing backs to get forward as well. So we worked on it, and I'm just pleased that they carried it out to exactly what um, we wanted. And it was a it was a terrific display. As you mentioned earlier, George Wind getting the winner. What do you make of his individual performance? He was man of the match. I think I've alluded to it already. In my opinion, I think in a lot of people's opinions as well, George is George has come a long way in a very short period of time. But I'm delighted for him. He's a fantastic kid. He's always listening. He's willing to learn. Can play anywhere down that right-hand side. Um, even right centre-back at a push. Um, but like I say, he didn't lose a header. He got forward. His decision-making was great. Um, he looks like he's been playing the game 20 years, never mind just two or three. So I'm not going to single anyone out, but he was he, well, he was brilliant. But again, again Everyone who, who took to the pitch today was superb. And uh, you mentioned earlier Hemel Hampstead in the uh, league next up. Does today's result give you confidence going into that one? Absolutely. If, if it doesn't, then we've got we've got problems. Um, but we need we need to take that into next week's game. Next week's game, effectively, is more important. Was more important today. Not that we took this lightly, because you can see the performance they put in. But next week's game is important. We're both sitting at the bottom of the league on one point. I didn't envisage at the start of this season that's where we would be at. Um, I lost my three forwards that were playing in pre-season, which doesn't help, but I'm not going to make excuses. Um, I still send the team out there to win football matches and we haven't been doing that. Um, we've been OK in parts, but I asked the boys today to put together two halves of football that I could be proud of, they could be proud of, and so our supporters could be proud of as well. And I, and I think you know, no one would disagree that they did that.